This is a cat at Groovy Fish. Have you seen this advertised and wondered whether your cats will love it? On one hand, based on the reviews, you'd probably buy it. But on the other hand, you know cats are fickle and there's no guarantee it will get their attention and be worth your hard-earned money. So before you risk buying it, we've tested this interactive cat toy for five weeks and the verdict isn't so clear cut. So to simplify things, we've organized our thoughts into three easy to follow sections. We'll run you through the features, discuss the highs and the lows, and we'll show you how it stacks up against other toys we've reviewed. Stay to the end though to hear a surprising twist from vets on cat toys. Okay, let's start by looking at the cat at Groovy Fish's features. If you've had other cat it toys before, you probably know they're all quite similar. They have a modern look, use catnip or food to attract your cat, and then involve some kind of movement for play. Thankfully, the cat at Groovy Fish follows this recipe. It has a distinctive modern design that comes in two colors, the outside is constructed from a fairly durable material, which we found actually holds up pretty well and is safe for your cats to bite and claw. Inside the groovy fish is a refillable catnip pouch. Thankfully, catit included two pouches in the box, which can be used for an extra layer of attraction. One great feature is a rechargeable lithium ion battery. This means you don't need disposable batteries, which is much better for the environment and more convenient. Cat it includes a USB-C charging cable in the box, but not a wall adapter. You can, however, use a phone charger for it. It takes roughly around one to two hours to fully recharge and the LED light shows when it's done. Our battery lasted over a month on full recharge, but it may vary depending on how much your cats actually play with it. Inside the toy, there's a motion activated mechanism that makes it flop around like a real floppy fish. When you touch the sides, the fish flaps around for 15 seconds. To keep things interesting, Catit gave the fish three different movement modes that switches between each time it's activated. After 15 seconds, the fish goes into standby mode to save battery life. We found that the sudden and unexpected movement helps to engage our cats, leading to a death and butt grip. The cool exterior and intriguing interior hides both its strengths and weaknesses. Some of these might be more important to you than others. Here are our top three likes and dislikes. One, it's not a quiet toy. Whilst the mechanism itself is not too noisy, the toy does slap and flap about on the floor. This initially scared Oreo, although Wolf didn't mind. I'm not sure though that if that's just our cats, would your cats be spooked easily by this noise? Two, despite it looking like a fish, it can't actually get wet at all. The mechanism is just not waterproof. If your cats like to dip their toys in water bowls like ours, you'll probably have to keep an eye on this one. Three, as you'd expect from being on the floor and being part of a cat death grip, the outside gets really dirty and it can't be cleaned by being put in a washing machine. Instead, the instructions say it has to be hand wash only. It seems strange that I can put my trainers in the washing machine, but not a fish shaped cat toy. Odd. One, including catnip is a smart idea and makes the toy more fun, but you need to use catnip bags because loose catnip can actually damage the mechanism. A clever trick here is to use a catnip spray instead of buying new bags. We found that spraying the fish works just as well and with fewer problems. Two, the material feels nice and super soft. <laughs> Three, my favorite part about cat it is there's none of the usual safety worries that I often get from non-branded cat toys we find on Amazon. Maybe it's just us though. Let us know in the comments if you feel similar. So, should you buy it, save it for later, or just simply ignore it? Well, so far we've reviewed 25 toys and scored them across six criteria, style, quality, safety, engagement, interaction, and cleanliness. But before we give you our buy recommendation and we find out what vets suggest to maximize playtime, let's see how it compares to these other toys. The cat at Groovy Fish ended with a score of 43 out of a possible 60, positioning it towards the top of our chart. Oh, and if you find this chart useful and you don't want to miss out on more top toys, be sure to subscribe to our channel. As we expected, this fish follows a very similar trend to other cat at toys. They do well across style, quality, safety, and cleanliness, but they fall down with engagement and attraction. Our cats enjoy the fish once they start playing with it, but that's the key part, once they start. 
Honestly, the toy just doesn't do enough here. Catit needs to find a way to program something into the toy to arouse the cat's interest and grab their attention, something unexpected to get them to start playing with it. Equally, once cats start playing with it, after those 15 seconds are up, if they don't touch it just right, the toy stops and the cats get bored. It's a shame we can't just customize how long it flaps for. The VCA recommends having an assortment of around 20 cat toys on hand and then rotating five options at a time. They say if your cat plays with it just for even a few minutes and lose interest, it doesn't mean they dislike the toy. Hello darkness, my old friend. We agree and we found this is a perfect toy to give our cats when they get the zoomies. Yet it might not keep them entertained for ages and sure it's not as exciting as some of the other cat toys we've reviewed, but it does a solid job of giving them a safe distraction. That's why we suggest buying this if you don't already have other toys like this in your collection. If you do, save this one for later and buy it if you find your cat's getting bored of those toys. Earlier, we mentioned feeling uneasy when buying unbranded cat toys. We recently bought and reviewed 10 cat toys from Amazon and in the process, stumbled across a scheme that we and likely other cat owners have no idea about. Check out this video if you want to find out about 10 cat toys every owner should avoid. If you like the video, consider dropping a like and a sub. Click one of the links in the video description if you want to find out more about the Catit Groovy Fish. Thank you for watching and see you soon.